right, we're back uh, with another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to connect two pieces of wire together using a butt splice. Uh, you can get these butt splices. Uh, a lot of people make them. There's a little, you can get them at Home Depot and Lowe's. Another important point about using a butt connector uh, a very important point you want to do you want to make sure you get the right gauge okay so if you're using 16 gauge wire you need to get a butt connector that does 16 gauge if you're doing 12 gauge you need a 12 gauge so make sure when you go into Home Depot and you get these make sure that you get the proper gauge butt connector so just a little the good thing about these are it's a clean connection and it's a straight through connection Whereas if you use a wire nut, you're going to have, you know, the wires going. This just kind of continues the path of the wire straight through so that you don't have a big bulky wire nut there. I always recommend some of these you'll get. They say that you don't need to strip the wire. I recommend always, always, always stripping the wire. Just get your pair of strippers. Always make sure you use the right gauge, find out what gauge of wire you're working with, and then use the proper gauge on your strippers. The reason you're gonna do that is because if you use too small a gauge on here, it will cut into the wire, and then that wire becomes brittle, and it only takes a couple times for it to be bent before that wire breaks, and then you're wondering, and you're trying to troubleshoot where you're open, is that on there so I'm actually gonna have two I'm gonna put a pair of these together into it when I do this I like to twist them together it just helps them uh, helps them bite a little better now the biggest the biggest thing for crimping you need the proper tool you need a crimp tool see that you see these it has two different crimp points you have to have the right tool without the proper crimp tool you're not going to get a good crimp a lot of people try to use pliers and stuff like that and it's a loose connection it works its way out I'm one of those guys that tries to find a shortcut in everything I do uh, with a crimp you just can't do it when you're using these butt connectors you got to go spend the extra money on a crimp tool, uh, any work around the house, anything you're doing, it's an invaluable tool. So we're just gonna, I like to get it in there first so I know exactly where on the, the butt splice. And you can see the metal in there. See how it's darker? And you see this light, you know what I mean? So that's the metal. So I got mine right on the end of the metal there. And I like to kinda get it in there. We're just going to put the wire right in there, get a nice crimp, and you're just going to squeeze. This is a good, always do your little wire test, a little tug test. Anytime you attach wires, always do a tug test. And then we're going to do the same with the other end. Put it in here, crimp it up. That's uh, how you do it. Connecting wires using a butt connector. Perfect. Gives you a straight through connection. You could do it just like this. Uh, but why not use a wire nut? It's so much easier. The butt connector is just a permanent connection for a straight through attachment. So I'm going to put this wire in here. And then I'm going to crimp, crimp this in. This becomes a harder part. Get it in there, take your wire, put it in here, crimp down. And now you have a straight through connection. So you can see how much cleaner and nicer that is, uh, depending on what kind of work you're doing or what kind of work you need. This is a lot more permanent than like a wire nut would be. I'm just not gonna crimp this because I gotta add another wire to it to get the idea. All right. You know if you want to know how to do anything else I mean I do stuff every single day in my life so if there's something that you guys are wondering about and want to know how to do it 
leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks.